All right, welcome back everyone. This lecture, uh, in this lecture, we'll be installing the proxy chain and we'll be getting started with it. All right, so without taking much time, let's get started. So let's first go to the Kelly machine and I'm here. Okay, we have our terminal ready. Now the first thing that you need to understand is do we already have a tor installed? So if you don't have tor installed, it won't really work. So you should have tor ready with it. You can verify if the tor is working. So for that, uh, make use of service tor status. Okay, so it's working. In case it's not, then you can make use of sudo service tor start and if you see it's got stuck or something you can restart it by sudo survey tor restart okay so that's how it's gonna work make sure the tor network is ready because you remember right see everything runs over the tor network so we should have the tor ready with it once it is done just go to a file and because I'm, a, I'm working as a Kali user so go to our access to a file and open it okay so we have to edit the file so in in linux anything that you wanna just like windows you wanna change some settings you have a wonderful ui but in case of uh, linux you have configuration file these are nothing but the text file you just have to edit the text file you know uh, and then the setting changes right so go to it and slash etc and then proxy chains uh, so you see the proxy chains strings config file, right? So that's done, right? So this is the proxy chain configuration. Whatever you do the changes in here, this will be impacted, okay? So, and, and proxy chain, there are three kinds of changes. We'll talk about one, uh, two of them. Uh, the, the dynamic chain, chain and the strict chain. Uh, strict chain is you see it says something in the hash is disabled okay just like in coding right and this thing which is without hash it is enabled okay so you see the strict chain is enabled it means that it will be done if all the peers all the nodes are ready if if it's not then the chain won't be formed and the traffic won't be going through it but in case of dynamic change, even if one pair, if even if one node is ready available, it can forward the traffic, right? So it's always good to start with the node. So you just have to remove the hash and it's get enabled. You see it's now turn white in a way. Now at the end, you should also verify two more things. First is the DNS leak test. Uh, DNS leak ensures that even if you changes your location, uh, you take the DNS request from that location only. Uh, what? Uh, just imagine why it is important is because even if you take a, a Tor network or multiple VPN service provider, if you take if your DNS request goes from your personal system, it's easy to understand. Okay, you are going through the traffic, you are reaches to the destination through multiple hop, but your DNS request done locally. So in that case, anybody or you know, it's not that. Uh, secure enough because your DNS privacy is still not protected so with proxy chain you can ensure that the uh, whenever you test whenever if your traffic goes through multiple hop let's say it exit from Dutch so your DNS request should also be going through the Dutch itself right so that way you can even not only secure your HTTP traffic web traffic but you even secure your DNS request because that would be done through the same tunnel same path itself and the problem when this problem happened when you even though you goes through the chain through the uh, tunnel but you take the DNS request locally that's called DNS leaked all right so I'll tell you how to do the leak test as well so once this is done you can go down and uh, yeah you can see this is already enabled proxy dns request no leak for dns data it is already enabled because it has been turned white you can also add some another soc soc is the proxy proc protocol basically so soc 4 and soc 5 are one 
uh, you can add some more as well you can make use of sock 5 and then 127 which is your local IP address 127.0.0.19050 that's gonna be local port you can do control X it would say save modified data you can type yes and do you want to keep the same file name you if you had hit enter it would be seen and usually if somebody modify the file they just you know make a copy of it and then modify it but in this case because this is the we are not going to make multiple files so it's okay to press enter now it's done our proxy chain setup is all all ready now let's test it now let's test it with accessing browser first okay so let's say i do the proxy chains proxy chains uh if you wanna let's say access browser maybe so what you can do is let's say i wanna make use of rock firefox maybe google.com okay uh i can type enter and uh, uh uh okay it looks oh my god you see this uh this is socks five okay i missed something in the in the configuration file because it says that the the this is this protocol this socks protocol is seems to be invalid so there has to be some correction some manual connection correction for sure so you can go there you have to be very very cautious okay and this is the problem because i didn't mention five over here because it's a socks five protocol all right so pretty sometimes it becomes difficult if you don't notice or don't recognize your error well okay because i re realized this error is something which is very clear if you doesn't have a number so i can again go back to my my the same query proxy change firefox google.com hit enter and you see this google opens up similarly if you want to open maybe bing of course there's not much difference to it but yeah just to show you restart require this is maybe because it has been opened somewhere else so that that could happen similarly you can also make use of nmap so i'll show you how that uh, if you are into ethical hacking then you should really understand making use of nmap scanner for scanning let's say your destination is open for certain ports or what are the ip addresses are live or is it talking or is the port 80 for http or https or dns is open or not you can get to know all those stuff with nmap nmap is super powerful robust scanner okay and freely available as a part of open source uh, what you can do is you can make use of same command with nmap so that your activity will be hidden so Let's say I do the nmap uh, Just make sure you have a pre prepended with proxy chains nmap uh, Let me scan it with port 80 maybe so minus P and with version as well and let me Let me scan to nmap itself You see it's it's, it was pretty quick right it has it has made use of dynamic chains you can see over here because we have disabled the static chain and it has successfully scanned it and looks like the port 80 is open on scanme.nmap.org all right so, so you get the details you get the idea right so this is how it really works i hope this was really helpful to you and this is the one of the most i mean uh, proxy chain uh, people make use of proxy chain on a very limited way but there are many many cool stuff like a pro that you can make use of it that will talk about it in an advanced session as well but till then uh, keep making use of it and i i hope you like the rest of the uh, rest of the series as well thank you so much we'll catch you in the next one all right well